Hello again. So we're now into the third video of five in our mini series. And in this video, we're going to be talking through some of the ways that I like to progress the backhand technique in junior players, in particular, eight and under. So let's get into my favorite backhand progressions. The progressions that I'll go through in this video will be pretty similar to the, the ones on the last video on the forehand. However, I will mention that beforehand, when using just the tennis ball with throwing and catching skills, I do encourage players, parents and coaches to ensure that we're catching and throwing with both our right and our left hands. This is really important for longer term development, making sure that players are capable on both sides of their body. Whether they have a single-handed backhand or a two-handed backhand, it'll be good for their future development. So first things first, how to hold the racket. If you saw the serve video, you will know how to show the chopper grip to young children. So simply pass the racket edge side up into their hand, they'll be shaking hands with the racket. And then they'll just put their spare hand on the back of the racket. Once they've got the right grip, we're gonna start with our bounce taps like we saw on the forehand side. So choose each side of the line, facing forwards, the ball's going to come in, it's going to bounce, and we're looking to make contact in front of our shoes. So quite simple, bounce, tap, bounce, tap. You'll see that I'm not doing a big swing, it's just a push. Once they can do that comfortably, we'll see if they can move out to the side next. Move to the ball, bounce, tap, recover. Move to the ball, bounce, tap. Once they can do that again consistently, you can then start to introduce some rallying skills. So onto the next progression, just like the forehand that we saw on the previous video, we're now introducing a side on position. So starting face on, as the ball comes in towards the player, they'll be turning sideways, making contact with the ball, and because they're turning their hips to face the court, we should see another tip stance. So here we go, turn sideways, tip stance, turn sideways, tip stance. Next is on the move, out to the side, tip stance, side, tip stance. Once they can do that comfortably, you'll then look into the rallies, and then we're going to introduce the follow through. So again, we call it the big nose on the forehand. There's no reason why we can't call it the big nose on the backhand. So, to the side, big nose finish, to the side, big nose finish, and then we add movement. Out to the ball, see the tip stance again, and again, out to the ball. Good. Tip stance is really important to ensure that the child is using a unit turn, they're using their body rather than just using their arms here. And another teaching point is to make sure that the player is swinging from low to high, so they're lifting the ball up and over the net. So the final progression on the backhand side, we're going to start to make the swing slightly bigger so that as the child grows bigger and stronger and they start to play on a bigger core, they can hit the ball slightly faster and slightly deeper. Now, I was actually doing it a little bit in that last progression, I shouldn't be. We're now going to try to take the tip of the racket back behind us. And sometimes it's good to have a visual aid like a cone behind you. So this is what we want it to look like. Side on, hit. If that's a step too far, what we just did, you can simply get them starting side on, getting the tip of their racket to point to the cone. They'll set themselves first, they'll look up at the ball, and then they'll swing through just as we did before. Same again. Here. And then when that's comfortable, they can get back into the ready position and do it all in one go. Then we'll practice it on the move, then we'll add rallies and have a great backhand. So, they were my backhand progressions. I hope you enjoyed them. Let me know if you do it in any different ways and feel free to subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. Take care.